I am going to show you a demo of using the nested if and what are the problems that can occur if you are not careful using the nested if statements. I am going to solve a problem where the user is going to enter some age. Assuming he enters a age between 1 to 20, accurate up to 5 years, I will tell you what is his age range. Suppose his age is entered as 3, I will say his age is between 1 to 5. Suppose he enters his age as 18, I will tell the age is between 16 to 20. Suppose he enters his age as 35, then I will say age is greater than 20 years. The whole purpose of this code is to just demonstrate to you how to use nested if, how to be careful using the nested if and what are the potential problems and how to avoid them. So I have declared a variable called as age which is going to read the age of a person. So I am going to first thing I am going to ask is I am going to ask the person enter the age all right so the person is going to enter the age since it's a short type of variable so i'm going to use a scanf percentage h i h i indicates that the data type is a short type of a integer age is short because age is never going to be more than three digits in any case all right so and short has a range up to almost 32,000. so nobody is going to live 32,000 years as far as i know so i'm going to ask the user to enter the age so once he or she enters the age, the first question I'm going to do is I'm going to check if the age, okay, is greater than or equal to one and age is less than or equal to 20. Now I am sure that the age is between one to 20. If this condition is false, what I'm doing here is I am saying else printf age is greater than 20 years. So this takes care of the case when the user enters an age greater than 20. Now we'll have to deal with this particular problem where a person's age happens to between 1 and 20 and I want to print accurate to 5 years range what is this age range. So first thing what I'm going to do here is let me do it like this. I'm going to say if age okay greater than or equal to 1 all right and age less than or equal to 10 okay this is my first condition so now what i'm doing is first i'm checking between 1 to 20 then i'm checking between 1 to 10 once he is between 1 to 10 there are only two possibilities he can be between 1 to 5 years or he can be between 6 to 10 years so what i'm doing is under this if age greater than or equal to 1 and age less than or equal to 5 then I'm going to say I'm going to print the age range here if you're not understanding everything just hold on it will be clear once I run through it just between 1 to 5 years all right age is between 1 to 5 years now what is possible is if he is not between 1 to 5 then he must be between 6 and 10 else so I'm going to say printf age is between 6 and 10 years all right okay so this is taken care of this fellow let me put a semicolon here so yes so far so good now this series of statements takes care of the case where age is between 1 and 10 all right now this else is associated with this if now for this if i am going to give one more statement i am going to write else again like this if age greater than or equal to 11 and age less than or equal to 20 then again i can borrow this logic here so i'll do a little bit of cut and paste from here so we make it our life a little easy but while cutting and pasting just be sure that you change the values otherwise your program logic is not going to turn out to be right okay so let's show what i'm doing here if age is greater than or equal to 11 and less than or equal to 15 then age is between 11 to 15 years Otherwise, age is between 16 to 20 years. All right. 
All right. So the code is here, but it will need a little bit of explanation. Otherwise, you're not going to get a clear hang of it. So let's try to run through this code, okay, using a little bit of data. Let's say the age is 5. So 5 is between 1 and 20. This condition is true. I come here. 5 is okay between 1 and 10. This condition is true. 5 is between 1 and it's equal to 5. So I'm going to print the message age is 1 to 5 years. Let's take another value. Let's take the value of age as let's say 8. Age is 1 and 8. It's true. Is age between 1 and 10 years? It's true. Is age between 1 and 5? It is false. So it will automatically say age 8 is between 6 and 10 years. Okay. Now let's take a value of 16 years. Is age between 1 and 20? Yes. Is age between 1 and 10? It's false. So it comes to this particular else. Is age between 11 and 20? It's true. Sorry. And is age between 11 and this should be 15. Okay. Is age between 11 and 15? This is false. So then this becomes the else condition becomes true. So age 16 is between 16 and 20 years. So that is why you should be checking this logic without even running and be sure it's able to execute because once you run you should be confident that it's going to run that's why I told you create the test table in algorithms do a dry run this is called the dry run running through the logic in different steps now if you look at this program because the way it's written it's quite difficult for a new person to understand what's happening but if you use flower brackets smartly you will be able to understand this code very well but before I use the flower bracket let me explain some things this else is associated with this if then this else is associated with the next nearest if which happens to be this similarly this else is associated with this if okay to make it more clear bring this if on this line if you want okay so it makes it more clear and put a line between this Still it may not be very clear but now just see by putting flower brackets how do I ensure clarity of this particular code. So this is one piece and then what I am doing here is I am putting a flower bracket here and then this else is just a single statement so I will just put a flower bracket on the same line so you are able to see the code more clearly. Now if you see you are able to very easily understand this if contains all these statements associated with it. But I can make it even more clearer. What I can do here is I can put one more flower bracket here. Okay. And end it with one more flower bracket. And same with this else if. Okay. Now you see it is very easy to read this particular piece of code. Because of the flower bracket your understanding of the code is simplified. Let's say we enter any age. Let's say the age is 55. If the age is 55, this condition is false. What is this flower bracket? This flower bracket is matched here. It will come to the else. Age is greater than 20 years. Now let's say I enter the age 13 years. 1 and 20, this is true. Is age 13 between 1 and 10? False. It will come to this else. If age 13 is between 11 and 20 is true. Is 13 between 11 and 15? This is true. So 13 is between 11 and 15 years okay so what we will do is we have done this but we cannot be sure that it's perfect because there can be problems in writing the code and we'll only determine that once we test it so never be overconfident writing the code and assuming it's right test it with all possible values <coughs> sorry to find out if there are bugs in your logic so let's first compile this to see if it's compiling and I've missed any errors okay there's some errors okay expects an argument of the type age all right so what is this line line 14 okay uh, okay warning age expects of the type short int but argument type has okay here what I have done is I have forgotten to give the address sign that's why it's not liking it okay now line 12 okay let's see what line 12 age greater than or equal to 1 and age see here I've given a space after the less than equal to so it will all catch you on all of these things which is great. Now let's try to recompile and let's see what happens. Okay, this is fine. So let's try to enter the age first as 40. So it should print the message 
age is greater than 20 years so far so good so it's printing this message age is greater than 20 years all right this code is available in the description so you can go and analyze it by running it through different data now let's run again let me enter the age as someone as four years okay so what will happen is when i enter four it will come here four is between one and twenty is true 4 is between 1 and 10 is true, 4 is between 1 and 5 is true, so it will print age is between 1 and 5 years. Let's hope that's what happens. Oops, sorry. Age is between 1 and 5 years. Let's try to run by giving age as 7 years and let's see what happens. Okay. Age is 7. Is 7 between 1 and 20 is true, 7 between 1 and 10 is true. 7 between 1 and 5 is false. So 7 is between 6 and 10 years. Let's hope that's the result. So 6 and 10 years. Let's try one more test. Okay. Let's enter age as let's say 14 years. That's fine. So when I enter 14, 14 is between 1 and 20 is true. So it will come into this block. 14 is between 1 and 10 is false. 14 is between 11 and 20 is true. 14 is between 11 and 15 is true. So it's going to print age is between 11 to 15 years. Let's see. Age is between 11 to 15. Last, we'll try running it with the age most of you are probably doing this course. Okay, 18s and 19s. Okay, so it should print age is between 16 and 20 years. So that's fine. So this shows that the code works in all the cases it was designed for. The purpose of this code was not to show you or the optimal way of trying to solve this problem but to show you how to use nested if smartly how to indent it how to use flower brackets to clear the confusion because if i remove the flower brackets you will find this code extremely hard to read and understand but with the flower bracket it's very easy this is true it will get into this particular block if this is false it will directly go to the else similarly if this is true it will get into this block if this is false, it will go to this else part. So please use proper indentation and flower brackets to make your code much clearer. This is going to save you a lot of trouble when you're debugging your own code.